Welcome to the next lesson in Amazing Selling Machine, where we're gonna talk about some common Amazon business setup questions. But before we do that, I need to mention a very important disclaimer. We are not lawyers and we are not able to provide legal nor tax advice. The information we're gonna talk about in this lesson is intended to just provide some examples of what we have personally done or seen done by others, but is by no means a replacement for legal advice from a lawyer. As a matter of fact, this lesson has never existed in the Amazing Selling Machine before. However, since these questions commonly come up at the beginning of this course, we felt it best to address them so at least you know exactly that we're aware of the questions and we can tell you what other people have done in your same situation. So here's what we're gonna cover. We're gonna talk about the most common questions that many new sellers have, particularly around business setup, such as, do I need to set up a business in order to start selling on Amazon? When would be the right time to set up a business? And if I do that, what type of business structure do most sellers use? So do you need a business to start selling on Amazon? Well, Amazon does not require you to have one in order to get set up and start selling on their platform. As a matter of fact, in a later lesson, when Rich Henderson shows you how to set up your very own Amazon Seller Essential account, you'll see just how easy it is to get set up and going using your own personal information. And then down the road, should you choose to set up a business and move that account over, Amazon makes it very simple to take that existing account that you set up and switch it under your business name at any point in time. However, here's an important thing to think about. While you don't need to have a business to start, we do strongly recommend that you do set one up at some point in time since they provide several benefits and protections for you. So then when would be the right time to set up a business since we're suggesting that everyone do it at some point? Well, even though Amazon doesn't require you to set up right away, when you decide to set it up will vary based upon your own particular situation and also your level of comfort operating a business. Some people prefer to have everything set up well in advance before they do anything else. Some people are kind of in the middle where they decide that they're not gonna set it up now, but before they actually start selling, that's when they wanna set it up. Then there's some people who wait until after they've been selling a while, that way they get a better idea of how their business is operating, and then they'll go ahead and set it up because then they have a much better idea of what to expect from their business. There is no one size fits all scenario. We have countless members who have set their business up at each point in time that I just mentioned to you. But whatever you do, the most important thing is don't let this slow you down. If you're someone who wants to get things set up before you move it all forward with anything else, then by all means, go ahead and do that right now. There are several online resources for getting a business set up within 24 hours, or you can go meet with a lawyer and then get things going within a day or so. Um, whatever you do, whatever decision you make, don't let it slow you down as far as taking the next steps in building your business. So let's talk about some common U.S. business structures. And I'm only going to go over the ones from the U.S. because pretty much every country has similar structures to this. And these are the ones that we're familiar with. So here are the several options that you'll have to choose from if you're setting up a business in the U.S. There's a C-Corp, S-Corp, an LLC, general partnership, or a sole proprietor. There are a few others out there, but those are the five that are most common. Again, the ultimate decision will be based upon your unique situation as to which one of these you choose to set up. And when you do choose to do that, we highly recommend that you get advice from a lawyer or some type of professional service when it's the right time. On this slide, you'll see those five different types of business structures, as well as many different characteristics of each one. This information comes straight from a site called LegalZoom.com, which is one of the many sites I mentioned earlier that can help you get set up with a business online. Now, I'm not necessarily recommending them. There are actually several other companies that do the same thing, but they're one of the ones that's the largest and been around for a long time. So what have we seen? Well, most students have chosen to set up the business as an LLC, simply due to the benefits and the flexible options. Again, this is only an observation. Your decision on when and how to set up a business should be made with the advice of a lawyer. So what do we learn here in this lesson? Well, first, Amazon does not require you to set up a business in order to start selling on their platform. But most likely, you will want to set up a business at some point in time. When to do so will depend upon your own level of comfort and your situation. Many ASM students have chosen to set up as an LLC after they started selling online. But no matter what you do, do not let this entire conversation about setting up a business slow you down. Regardless of when you decide to set a business up or what type you decide to finally set up, 
that shouldn't slow you down from moving forward and starting the process of selecting your product and building your brand. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video.